Hello everyone, it's Leo, and I couldn't be happier because of episode 37 from Hirogaru Skype Recure, an Ageha episode, and I loved every second of it. My queen, butterfly, oh my god, it was simply amazing. It was great to see a little bit more from Ageha and learn more from her, from a little bit more of her background and see her in action as the best nursery school teacher. So this episode was very simple, very straightforward, and it focused on Ageha's and Takeru's relationship. If you remember, Takeru was that little boy that kind of helped trigger Cure Butterfly's transformation in episode 18. And in this episode, he is going to transfer schools. He's not going to be in Sorashido Nursery School anymore. So he's going to move to a different city. His family is going to move to a different city. And so he's feeling down. He's feeling sad. Agaha notices and she is struggling to know how to deal with him not playing with the other kids and not being the exciting boy that he usually is. I feel like this episode touches on a topic that happens to, if not all, most of us. Doubts. How do we go on doing something we like or we love or we have to, but we can't? We don't know how or what to do. And in this case, we're talking about Ageha, a person, a character who loves doing what she does. And we see that uh, many times in the episode. When she is down, the other, girls, the other girls notice that she is down. When she is sleeping, she is dreaming about the kids that she takes care of in school. Tsubasa notices that as well. And so the episode like really highlights that Ageha is struggling and going through something hard for her. And this happens to people that work in general or people who have responsibilities in general. There will come a moment in which you will doubt how to do something that is important to you and how to proceed, how to keep on doing and how to keep on making things work. And uh, this episode was very lovely as well because it showed us why Ageha decided to become or to try to become the best nursery school teacher, the strongest nursery school teacher, as she likes to say. When she was a kid, we already know that she was separated from her father and her sisters, the butterfly sisters, as I like to call them, because she had... Um, they divorced, so they were separated, so she stayed behind, no, she didn't stay behind, she stayed with her mom, she stayed in Sorashido while her father and her sisters moved away, and in Sorashido she had to keep on living, because that's what happens in life, no matter what's going on, we have to keep on moving, the world never stops spinning, so we have to, you know, struggle but we have to move forward. And that's what she was doing. But she was feeling sad at school. But what mattered for her the most at that moment was that there was a very special teacher there. There was this special teacher that was always looking out for her. She was always keeping her company. She was always keeping her excited. Age, age. You know, she knew that there was someone who, who was worried about her. And... This is very important when you're feeling sad, when you're feeling down. It's important to notice that there are other people that are looking up for you. There are other people that care about you. And that's what she felt with that teacher. And she thought that the same impact that the teacher had on her, she could have on other children. And that is why she decided to take on this path. And it was lovely to see how much she was struggling, how much Tsubasa helped her by going to school with her, by getting inside her bag and trying to help her. It was very funny how he called her a weirdo because let's face it, Ageha is a weirdo. That's why we love her to bits as we do, as I do, you know, she is my queen. You guys know how much she is my diva. And I just loved seeing how Tsubasa was like, you are struggling, but the one thing you have to do right now is be you. You love those children. You love them. You have a big passion for what you do. So just be you and that will be enough. 
because she has the, the heart in the right place and her feelings in the right place as well. And that's what she did. She just went on. She just met the little boy and they were able to have a moment. What I loved about that scene, they were caving the tunnel together, was that Takeru was finally able to accept his feelings and share his feelings. He cried and he said he did not want to move. He did not want to change schools. That's what he was holding back this whole time. And he was able to open up. And I feel like that takes a big power in people. There are people that have this power. People that are strong enough so that you feel safe around them to open up and to share your secrets, your thoughts, and your inner feelings with them. That is a superpower. And Agaha has this superpower. As Agaha and as a nursery school teacher. That is why she was so powerful like this. But obviously, what also connected them was the fact that for Agha, their relationship and their friendship was also important. Agha would never forget everything that Takeru did and all the moments they spent together. And so Skir had appeared, he attacked, and they started fighting. It was nice that Butterfly and Wing fought a little bit together. Uh, not much, but it was nice. You know, they, they had a stronger connection uh, before, so it's nice to see them, you know, having those moments as a duo, not really a duo, but, you know, uh, having those little moments. And the fighting scene was kind of boring at that moment, but I feel like there there is one important aspect of this fighting scene, which I'll get there. So the other girls arrive later. We don't see the full transformation, but we do see them arriving and we do see them uh, attacking as well. All of them were kind of having a hard time, except for Majesty. It was very funny. Like Majesty was kicking and hitting those acorns and Wing was like, oh my God, the princess is protecting the knight. That scene was everything. And they had to stop the acorns somehow. And Butterfly, you know, even though she was beaten, she got in, she jumped high, and she went on by herself because she knew what she had to do. And that is how I feel, that is why I feel like there was something important in this fighting scene because Skier had was paying attention in their abilities. And at the start, Butterfly's shield did not work, but then he was really paying attention in her shield, and so she jumped high and she was like, oh, this is not going to work again. But in this, this, time, this time around, it did work very nicely. But what was the most important thing in that scene was probably Yoshiyama Yu, one of my favorite animators. What a scene she did for Butterfly. Oh my god. And it was so cool because at the same time, Takeru was talking to the other kids about Butterfly. He knows Ageha. He knows she is Butterfly. And he was there talking about her. This just goes to show their strong bond, their strong feelings for each other and how much he likes and trusts Ageha. And, you know, she jumped high in that beautiful, flawless animation. Girl, this is like movie style precure. I loved that so much. And she was very smart to be able to jump high, use her shield and, you know, destroy the acorns or let them destroy themselves and then use the critically acclaimed butterfly press critically acclaimed by myself butterfly press i love that moment and it was so cool like i was not expecting a scene like that in this episode at all but i was so impressed by that moment what a diva cure butterfly is and she defeated them i mean they defeated with majestic kurunikurun the majestic halation and then uh she looked at skierhead and said don't ever come near those children again. And I, I still think that all that Skierhead was doing was actually going for, going to know more about her abilities, Butterfly's abilities, the shield ability. So that's why he attacked the, the school. Like he is a smart villain. He was not attacking for nothing. And so at the end, we see that Takeru is going away and his grandmother is actually the teacher who worked with Ageha. And Ageha was saying how much she impacted her and like she wants to be like her one day. But the, the woman just told Ageha that actually she already is because what she did and the impact she had on Takeru was enough to consider her the best. 
for Takeru, she is the best. So she is on the right path to create something amazing for herself and for her career as the strongest nursery school teacher. And at the end, we were able to see the wonderful power again. It was so cool. I'm so happy we got to see that again. The purple power from the colorful action mix palette and she used it. It does different things every time she uses it. And she used to create a big, big, beautiful scenario for Takeru when he was leaving. And he was able to say one last goodbye to Cure Butterfly. That was so cute. Oh my God. I love that. And that moment, I feel like it was an, an animated by Yoshiyama as well. I don't know. Because it was so beautiful. Like a very quick scene of like a close, a close up on her face. I loved that moment. Very heartfelt, very cute. Episode 37, I love you so much. I'm so happy to have a little bit more background in my favorite character from Hirogaru Sky. Very special episode for me. And my hero corner for this episode has to be Cure Butterfly jumping up in a beautifully animated scene with Yoshiyama's special touch and coming down full force with Butterfly Press. I love that moment, like... From the bottom of my heart, it was really, really incredible. I loved every single second of it. Girl, perfection. Amazing, show-stopping. I just don't have anything else to say. It was really, really great. Next week, we're going to have a moment of Mashiro's and Agha's friendship when they got to know each other. We're going to learn more about them as well. I feel like it's going to be very heartfelt and cute too. Very exciting. Anyways, babies, this is it for now. I want to take this little time to thank the members of the Magical Cinema channel. If you are a member, thank you very, very much for your support. And if you've watched up until now, thank you so much as well. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, Age Age!